I keep thinking that somebody's going to help me. Someone with power. Even though I know deep down that it's not going to happen. Or it would have happened by now. So what do I do? When I have no control, you know, my life's spiraling out of control. I get thinner. Because my body is something that I have control over and, and it, you know, when people think my body looks nice, it makes me feel special. But I can't deal with this, you guys. Not only did I not sign on for this, but also, and even way more importantly, I am not mentally equipped to deal with it. I'm not equipped to deal with it. I'm not a caretaker. I would never go to school or I would never do, I would never be a caretaker. They didn't change my mom's meds. The thing is, she wasn't taking any of the, any of it during the day of the Risperidol. Okay? She wasn't taking any. She was only taking four at night. She was supposed to take four at night milligrams and two during the day. She wasn't taking the two milligrams during the day. And she claimed it was because she didn't know how to get, cut the pill in half. But she could be lying. It could be that she can't deal with what's going on now. They didn't increase her meds. They, I mean, they didn't keep her on what her psychiatrist had put her on. They kept her on what she'd been taking, but now it's split up. Now it's two and two. And she keeps telling me, and I'm witnessing it. This medication makes me dopey, Laura. I can't stand it. Every time I turn, she just got home today. Every time I turn around, Laura, I can't find this. I can't find that. You gotta help me. Get it. I gave her money that she had had in the hospital that I took home with me. And within five minutes she lost it, couldn't find it, then found it again. I went, I had to take off because Marion was coming over here. I'm speaking of which, but she didn't even give Mary the note. Apparently my, my aunt's going to die very soon, okay? So Marion's all frazzled over that. My aunt maybe has two weeks left of that. Um, I was supposed to see her, and she wound up having it. How long ago was it? Three? Like, I was supposed to see her, and now she can't even talk. I mean, I was supposed to see her, and I didn't get to, and now I won't be able to. I, I'm not equipped to handle this. That's my shelter friend. She thought I would be insulted, and I wasn't. She's like, Laura, your mom's going to need care, in-home care. But I don't want to, you know, hurt your feelings, but I don't think you're the person. Of course I'm not the person to do it. Of course I'm not. Miriam but won't pay for having my mom have in here home care, though. Now my mom supposedly wants to fight Marion. She met someone in the mental hospital, a guy, but... Look at her track record with men. Just because this man says he's this, that, whatever, and wants to help her, but... She told him what she had apparently been lying to me about all these months. The wrongful death and the crazy man. That Marion put in her little thousand, and my mom put in her little thousand for the lawyer, and then they're going to split whatever outcome, and it, it went on for year after year after year after year after year. My mom told me it was ten. Each. I'm like, that's all you guys got after all this time? Turns out my mom had lied to me. It wasn't 10, it was 50. Another reason for me to despise Marion. Marion told my mom, don't tell Laura. Marion doesn't know I have money or whatever, but Marion's acting like she's protecting my mom. No, she's protecting her own fucking greedy ass. 
And my mom, of course, my mom tells me this because now she wants to fight Marion and she goes, I have a confession. Or what? You fucking lied to me, mom. Just because Marion told you to lie to me didn't mean you had to do it. You know? And now she told me the truth. And Marion's investing it for my mom. Bullshit. You and I both know my mom's never going to see that money anymore. She's going to see her 401k of an undisclosed amount because she's not allowed to know anything about anything, okay? This is all fucking bullshit. And I am so stressed. I cannot take this. You understand? I've reached a point where... I mean, you guys know I won't kill myself, but... Something's got to give, okay? I cannot be doing this with my mom. I didn't sign on for this. You know? I can't be her caretaker. Every time I turn around, she couldn't even do pay the con. She couldn't even... She couldn't even pay the cable bill. She's blaming her glasses. I'm like, Mom, you were paying the bills fine all this time, even after you got your new glasses. I'm like, and she's like, all right, it's not the glasses. I can't see. I can't see. It's the medication. But, Mom, you have to take it. They actually have you on less than your psychiatrist had you on, even though you weren't taking what your psychiatrist put you on. That's not the point. The point is they actually reduced it from what your psychiatrist had put you on, okay? They reduced it. And you tell them they're do you're dopey, they're not going to care. Marion's waiting for this. Marion's waiting for you to not be able to function and put you in a home so she has everything and no one's going to question anything, you know? I'm not strong enough to equip. I'm not equipped with this. I'm not. Every time I turn around, my mom loses something now. She's only been home just half new today. She's got home like a two or something. No, a little before two. Yeah. And she went with Marion to fill different meds or whatnot. I took off because I don't want to see Marion. She didn't even tell Marion about the dog collar thing. You know, like. And I am. Um, I can't take this. Marion had her get her money. I don't know why. Like, why can't you get it when you go shopping like you usually do and blah, 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 whatever. She lost it. I'm like, I don't care, Mom. You don't need the money. I don't care. hundred and something dollars. I don't care if it's lost in this house forever. I really don't. I tried to find it. I couldn't. I made sure this place was spotless. The kitchen, living room, dining room, and hall. I told my mom, like, like you, you have to clean up after yourself, Mom. I can't do everything. I'm not equipped for this. I'm not getting paid for it, remember? I'm paying the equivalent of rent here. And I'm not equipped to be my mother's caretaker. I don't have the mental strength to do it, you understand? She yells. She's frustrated. She can't remember stuff. She loses stuff. I handed her. We just had, she just had the goddamn envelope with hundreds of the dollars in it. And turn around, it's gone. She can't find it. Oh, well, you know. Same with anything. Same with her checkbook or her checks or this or that or whatever. Every time I turn around, she's on my case about she's lost something. It wasn't like this before. It's the meds doing it to her. So she's not going to want to take them. And if she doesn't take them, she'll get sick again. Marion doesn't care. I know. I'm smart. I know. Marion wants my mom to be not a burden anymore. To be like the other older sister who has been cuckoo and even meds don't help her ever since I can remember, even before I was born, I think. At least when I was a little girl, it, it had, it's been before I was born. And Marion, my mom fears, because she'll say, and she even said it to the people in this hospital, you know, the, the doctors, and I backed her up. They're trying to turn me in to insert the sister's name, okay? Think about it. Think how easy. Marion gets the house, Marion gets all the money, and you know Marion's a greedy little fucking bitch, okay? Um, I'm sorry, she did this all behind my mom's back. It was on the pretense, of course. It's adorable power of attorney because they were doing this case and going to get all this money. My mom used to think they were going to get 200 
something new, but whatever. Um, I said to my mom, you have all that money, why don't you go on vacation or something? Why don't you do something with it and enjoy it? Remember, she's approaching 70. She's not going to see this money. What's the point? Marion's investing it for me. Yeah, you're never going to see it, Mom. Give me a fucking break. You're never going to see any of it. You're never even going to enjoy it. God, you have this money. Why don't you buy a new fucking refrigerator and, and washing machine? I mean, washer and dryer. I thought you only had ten. You know, you have all this money. Marion's investing it. For what? For what? You guys know as well as I do, my mom's going to wind up in a home. I know that's what Marion would love to see happen. It's, it's easy. Then she's, she's not inconvenienced at all. Don't even give one flying fuck about the money. And that might be my saving grace when it comes to judges and lawyers and whatnot. Because I'm not after the control. I want checks and balances put on Marion. My mom has a right to know what Marion's up to with my mother's money. My mom has a right to put this house in a living trust for me, her fucking only child, her daughter. She loves more than anything else in the world. Look to her. My mother just to be safe. She has all that money. There's no reason she can't have a live-in person. I don't know what live-in person costs, but... Or part-time live I don't know. My mom probably does have to wind up in a home, but, you know, Mary would just put her in a home, and with all that money, she could get something nicer, you know. I wouldn't take the money. I would make sure that it went to her having a better standard of living. I don't know. You know how my mom is. She'll change her mind, you know, supposedly, and she brought it all up, and I was all, she stressed me out. I'm like, I was yelling at her because I find out she lied to me about, because Marion told her to lie, you know? So all these months she lied to me, and then I'm like, this just in enforces how I feel about Marion negatively, you know? Now she has even, now I see even more why in February, after they had gotten this lovely 50 each, you know, I see why I got the, my mom got from Mary, you know, she's a conniving about me, she's a conniving bitch, she just wants power of your money, I'm gonna have her thrown out of there, of course. Mary's protecting even more now. As far as I'm concerned, she never even should have got half. It wasn't her husband who fucking died. All she did was put in a thousand for the lawyer and with my mom, go in half, and then winds up with all this money. Whatever. It's all bullshit. As far as I'm concerned, I'd like to see Marion go to jail. I wouldn't even care. Wouldn't care at all. See what all this does to me? Turns me evil. Just too much. Too much for me to deal with. I hope my mom does fight it, but she's got to open the can of worms. She's got to start telling people the truth about Marion and this power of attorney that Marion has over her and the healthcare proxy and whatnot. And then I will join in. But my mom has to start it. She has to talk to elder abuse. She has to talk to her psychiatrist, her psychologist, her social worker. As things stand, she says nothing. So nobody knows anything. It's all secrets, all lies, you know. She has to do it. I'll, I'll join in if she does it. But she's got to do it on her own. And then I'll join in once she makes the first move. I'd given up. I told you I wasn't going to do anything. I just decided, fuck it. 
No. I just had kissed my inheritance goodbye, and that's that. But now I'm even angrier. And not because I want that money someday or whatever. I don't give a fuck about the goddamn money. I'm angrier. Because I know Marin's ultimate plan. It just adds to my fury against her. You know? She's investing it for my mom. Bullshit. Bull. Fucking shit. Why don't you sell me another bridge and two up too?